there, sir. It's a mighty fine town you got here. The name's Georgie. Georgie Guitar. They call me the Dancing Kid Number Two as well. So I can do a little dance as well. Say, you want to check out my guitar? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Yo, hey, I'm not El Mariachi. Oh, oh, oh. Nicholas Cage, what did you do here? His soul's still dancing. Hey everyone, George here. I hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. This is Western Wednesday number four. And can you believe it? We're already one month in. Our first Western Wednesday was on Johnny Hamlet. So it makes sense to end this month with Nicholas Ray's Johnny Guitar. Starring Joan Crawford, Sterling Hayden, Mercedes McCambridge, Scott Brady, and Ward Bond. This film came out in 1954, and Joan Crawford plays Vienna, a saloon owner who on the outskirts of town has a big saloon. But the townsfolk people, they don't really care for her. The townsfolk people are also against the town getting a railroad. They don't want a bunch of people coming in. So... They're completely against Vienna's idea of having a saloon by the railroad. Emma is played by Mercedes McCambridge, and her and Vienna have a crazy grudge going on. You have the dancing kid played by Scott Brady. He likes Vienna. Vienna has a past relationship and love for Johnny Guitar, played by Sterling Hayden. You got Emma, played by Mercedes McCambridge. She loves the dancing kid and hates Vienna. It's pretty crazy stuff. No two men have ever loved so dangerously. Look at him. Fingers just itching on the trigger. They can't wait to shoot me. No two women ever hated so viciously. I'm going to kill you if I don't kill you first. Nicholas Ray also directed the classic Rebel Without a Cause with James Dean. And this is like Rebel Without a Cause in that it's built around heavy emotion. Vienna hires Johnny Guitar to help her out at the saloon. And as Johnny Guitar is coming into town, he in uh, to the saloon, he he witnesses a stagecoach being robbed, and the townsfolk and Emma, they accuse the dancing kid and his gang for being a part of it, and the dancing kid and his gang are often at Vienna's saloon, so they often incorporate Vienna with the dancing kid and their gang, but Vienna is not a part of the gang at all. What makes matters worse is that Emma's brother was killed during the stagecoach robbery. Ward Bond's character gives Johnny Guitar, Vienna, and her crew at the saloon, as well as the dancing kid and his gang, 24 hours to leave town. Craziness ensues afterwards. You have a bank robbery, and you have a hanging, and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. This movie is one of my personal favorite westerns. It's not a traditional western at all. It's uh, melodramatic, it's emotional, it's funny, and it's pure craziness. The acting across the board is fantastic. Emma, played by Mercedes McCambridge, is easily one of the best Western villains of all time. And uh, the music is really good. Peggy Lee sings the theme song, Johnny Guitar. And if you've ever traveled through the Mojave Wasteland in Fallout New Vegas, then you've heard Peggy Lee's song before. Harry Stradling does the, is the cinematographer for Johnny Guitar, and uh, he does a fantastic job. This movie is super colorful and really beautiful. It's easily one of the most beautiful and colorful westerns out there. This movie is darkly funny in a campy, kind of over-the-top kind of way, especially when you have Joan Crawford and Mercedes McCambridge together. They're very, they're elevating it, baby. They're really going for it, and they're both fantastic in the movie. I think the whole cast is great, Sterling Hayden really fits Johnny Guitar, and Scott Brady's great as a dancing kid, and you also have a great supporting cast. Like I mentioned before, you have Ward Bond. You also have John Carradine, and Ernest Borgnine, and Paul Fix from The Rifleman. And then this movie is really about love and jealousy, as well as how important it is to try someone fairly and lawfully. This film is like the Oxbow Incident in that it's about posses and how crazy mob mentality can really be and as I mentioned before trying someone fairly and lawfully is really important and still is today so Johnny Guitar I give it a 10 out of 10 I highly recommend this movie and if you're looking for a traditional Western I would say hey this isn't it but if you're looking for something different I highly recommend Johnny Guitar 
And that's what's cool about the Western genre is you have so many different kinds of Westerns. Grab a black glove, guys, because we're going to talk about Cemetery Without Crosses next. This is by Robert Hossein. So I will catch you all next time for Cemetery Without Crosses. I hope you all stay safe. Take care. Bye.